Hey everybody, Linda Bean, Outreach Coordinator from the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. Welcome to our Wednesday Shining a Light segment where we get to flip the script and return the favor to one of our loyal friends to the fund and hear a little bit about you know, their business and industry and um, how we can support them. So today I wanna welcome um, my friend Wendy Hamill from Eurus. Welcome, Wendy. Hi, thanks for having us, Linda. This is so oh, exciting. You bet, really excited um, to feature you. You've been such a supporter um, to the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund for so many years. We're gonna kind of get into the history of that, that relationship um, and how you support us in so many ways in a little bit. But first I'd love to hear um, a little bit about your company, um, Eurist. Um, in the food service industry. Right, so Eurest is a contract food service company. Our, our sector does business and industry. And you know, we have about uh, over 2,000 marketplaces in the United States. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty big company. And uh, one of the things we love about Kelly and Dolan Memorial Fund is being able to connect with our local areas. So that's one of the things we absolutely love. Um, and, you know, being in the food service industry right now is obviously pretty exciting and challenging at the same time. So. Um, I bet, I bet. Yeah. I can't um, imagine, you know, you've been hit um, just like you know, many other industries, but the food service particularly um, hard, um, especially as many people are working remotely. Um, but now we're starting to see a silver lining and, you know, in, in phases, people kind of re-entering um, the workplace setting. Um, and, you know, I wanna kind of look at it in a positive way because isn't it great for all of us, regardless of what industry we're in, um, we're kind of used to doing things the same way. So we've had to pause, take a step back, and look at our maybe industry standards and best practices and see how we need to kind of adapt them. So tell me a little bit, you know, if I'm, I'm an employee and I'm coming back to work, um, why am I gonna come down and get lunch um, in my Great. office versus bringing it from home. Tell me how you're going to yes. make them feel a little bit more comfortable and have more confidence. Absolutely. So first off, I will say, I have our mask here. We're definitely, the whole team is wearing our masks while we're in the kitchen. When you don't see us out in the marketplace, we still have our masks on. We're still being very uh, pro proactive that way, everyone's wearing a mask during service, during prep, the whole time. So that's, you know, number one, we have this. Um, all, in addition to that, we have a few other tools like our signage that we're using to show which direction to go, where to stand, uh, showing that we're practicing this um, physical and social distancing in the marketplaces. So that way our customers can feel comfortable. We also have our barriers for our cashiers so that you can complete that transaction with confidence. Other things that we're doing, we're using stylus pens for the checkout or kiosks. When you're checking out yourself or placing your order, we also have those stylus available. Uh, we're also promoting using badge pay, different forms of payment. We're also enhancing our app. So we have an app for the marketplace where you can place an order for the deli or the grill or even a salad, a build your own salad. And yeah. that's all through the app. So you place your order, you pick it up in the marketplace, it's already paid for and off you go. So less contact for trying to really cut down on some of those points, just so our customers can feel a little bit more comfortable. We've also updated our catering menu to um, provide customers with box lunches for any number of people. Could it, 
Could it be one? Sure. Could it be six? Yes. Um, so up, all those different things we're working on to making sure our customers feel more comfortable in the marketplace. Another thing we're doing is we're using uh, the Inspired Kitchen, which is a way for us to connect with those folks who are now not in the marketplace, but they're at home, but they can still keep connected with our, with our chefs, our amazing chefs, who are teaching them maybe something they can do at home. So we're really trying to still stay connected in that way. So yeah, those are just really, some of the things that we're doing. Super cool. I really love the um, Inspired Kitchen and the, the Build Your Own Salad Bar. You know, there's kind of this uh, joke floating around and, you know, in, in all funny, you know, COVID-19 is, is not a funny matter, but folks are referencing it, you know, in terms of um, being home and having access to the kitchen 24 seven and not being as disciplined. And that was kind of my thought process. I am gonna be heading to my first in-person meeting for the Chamber of Commerce shortly. And I'm guessing that salad bar is gonna be gone at the restaurant where we meet. Um, yeah. And so how are we you know, gonna stay healthy and keep fit? And it looks like that's really been something that you've thought out well. You yeah, know, to customize we're, it. we are. We're, we're making it easier for customers to be able to get a salad. And like you said, I mean, I know my first few weeks at home, I was making dinner every night. You know, we're having fabulous dinners and you know, it, was, it was a nice bonding experience. But at some point, you got to get back to the salads and eating healthy. And we're enhancing our stations. Our grill now has... Uh, salad option to it so you can get a nice protein on top of a salad instead of a bun or a roll or whatever so uh, that's been really a nice addition and then the ease of doing it from the app and still getting that build your own salad feeling is yeah. still there so it's very really important for our customers to make sure that we hit on those wellness items and you know help everybody with their goals of right eating well. right really impressed how you've done that. That's super impressive. And I think will increase the level of, of just comfortability of people visiting because you've created an option for everyone, contactless um, and safe in a safe environment if you choose to visit physically. Yes. Um, I'd love to talk a little bit. You've been, you're not only been a um, sponsor of Taste, um, provided silent auction uh, items. You guys always bring it with whatever theme we have for the year. Um, whether you dress up or your booth <laughs> is kind of decked out <laughs> as well. And, you know, I'd just love to hear a little bit about the history and, you know, why, why the Dolan Fund and this oh long-term partnership? What keeps you coming back every year? Well, we love it. Um, and I will say, uh, Mary Beth Toey and Peggy have had a very long standing relationship. And I've been with the company 18 years. We've been doing this event for that time. And prior to that, Mary Beth and Peggy, you know, worked on Wine in Winter from the beginning, which is now the taste event. And it's just, we love it. Uh, we love coming there and putting together our best effort and just making people want to come to our table and share all the fun things that we do inside our marketplaces out in the community. And then of course, working with the Kelly Andola Memorial Fund, I mean, so heartwarming. We love it, being able to connect with the community in this way, being able to, to help support something that gives back to the community in the way that you guys do is just amazing. And again, like I said, heartwarming. We all love it. I, you know, all of these people, all of our chefs, all of our front of the house folks who come to this event are volunteering their time, you know, mm -hmm. after work, after they've been there all day long, you know, and they love it. We never have a problem getting people to come and help us with this event. It's just a great, great environment. 
We are just so, so appreciative. And, and you know, after, you know, I've been there um, a little over three years and, you know, we feel like we've developed such friendships with you guys year after year. And it's such a, yeah. a strong, rich partnership. Um, and I know uh, the chef's dinner, a silent auction item year after year is a big, big hit being able to have that personal yeah. um, dinner party in your home um, that's catered by one of your in-house chefs. Big, big hit. So, yeah. so we love that. And so that, that, that little piece of what we do with uh, Kelly and Dolan Foundation is so exciting. I know our chefs, you know, they have a little competition between each other, you know, <laughs> oh, hey, I raised this much last year and how much did you raise, you know, so it's, it's fun and, you know, we, we love having that part of it. It just is another way to connect with the people and yeah. it's fun. And you always help us pinch it when we have a, a snag. I know this year we had a little bit of a, even though we didn't have the event, you helped us come through, through your connections and, and securing yeah. some wine donated and you participate on the committee. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I know um, it's a mutual feeling, but this is um, returning the favor. So is there anything we can do um, to support Eurest? Well, we do have our Fresh Fork corporate catering um, division. And if anybody, you know, needs anything, they can always contact us, contact Carl. Um, he'd be glad to help out. And, uh, you know, that's one of the ways. And then the other one, when you do re return to workplace, uh, you know, come down and see us in the marketplace. And that's about it. But again, you know, I'm looking forward to next year and the event, I know it's already on the calendar. So that's gonna be amazing. We're looking forward to that so much. I mean, we are disappointed that we missed this year. We were all ready to come all full I on 20 team. It was exciting, but we're looking forward to next year. It'll be great. We're, we're just gonna make it bigger and better than ever. Um, and, you know, in kind of closing, we, you and I kind of share a love of running and I know you're gonna participate we are adapting in our fundraising in a virtual world and we've got a great event coming up um, go five to save lives which is a virtual 5k over a course of a week um, but you get to kind of choose how you're going to do that you could do it yeah, by swimming I'm or rowing so thank you for joining us in that and helping us spread the word i will i will spread the word it's going to be a great event and anything you can do to get out there and uh, feel a little bit better and help the dole and fun at the same time for him. It's all about keeping it positive. And so I thank you for spending a few minutes with me today and um, just how you've adapted um, in making folks feel safe returning to the workplace and, and eating and being able to eat healthy, super impressive. So thanks for visiting with us and we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.